Hi there, this is Jeff Reeves, editor of InvestorPlace.com. I'm here with John Markman from Traders Advantage. Uh, John, let's talk about um, kind of the market in general before we get into some stocks. Uh, you know, we've seen these big front-loaded returns in 2013. I think a lot of investors, after the market's gotten sleepy in August, they're kind of wondering, you know, are we going to see another leg up to end the year? Or are we just going to move sideways for a little while? I mean, dust off your crystal ball for me and kind of, kind of make an irresponsible prediction on where we're going from here. Oh, I like the way, I like the way you call it. Irresponsible <laughs> prediction. My, my irresponsible prediction is that um, the market has seen its high for the next year and a half. That was in early August. It's possible that there could be another high um, in, in October or November, but I, I think we'll probably look back over your shoulder and say that the high was made a few weeks ago. And I think that that, that high will probably last a good year and a half to two years. A good analogy would be sort of like um, how Apple made a high in September and never really looked back as sure. people expected it to. Um, it's just, there's, there's no real valuation reason per se. It's just that when, s when markets go up so far, so fast, uh, they use up a lot of their kinetic energy. And the kinetic energy would be uh, the psychology, the hopes and dreams of, of investors. They always kind of get piled into it all at once. It shoots to a, a high and then it just kind of um, the buyers have already bought. It's a lot. It's, you know, people yeah. who are willing to buy have bought. And you know, the next great hope for the market was that people who had put a lot of money into bond funds would suddenly take their money out of bond funds and put them in the stocks. Yeah, the great rotation. The great rotation. How's Except, that working out? Well, it's kind of like the, the rotation of, let's say, the Astros. <laughs> 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 uh, not such a great rotation because what people are doing is they're taking money out of bonds and they're putting it in the cash. So, because the people who are in bonds aren't suddenly going to be converted into being equity guys. Yeah. It's going to take a while. So, I, I think it'll take, um, my, my work suggests it'll take about a year and a half, okay. two years. So, let's just say that I'm right, <laughs> the crystal ball is right, and the high was made in, um, in August. That doesn't mean that um, you can't have good intermediate rallies. Of course, of course there can be. But I think that when you look back, you'll see that, that a high was made. And my guess is that there won't be a real terrible low, not like a 2008, 2009 type of low. I'm thinking more like a 1994 type of a situation where the market just kind of lazily drifts down like you know confetti from uh, <laughs> a high building. Yeah, so, so I guess that means that now is the time for you to be a little bit more selective then. You can't just necessarily chase big trends um, as easy as it was to do the yen trade or something like that. You got to be a little bit more discerning in how you position your portfolio, right? I, I would say be more, t you can still tr trace, chase trends, but you got to be careful about chasing the right trends because trends are going to peter out more quickly. Okay. Um, you know, I think a, a really neat trend that's in place right now that has legs is uh, the Affordable Care Act, uh, the otherwise known as Obamacare, which was passed in 2010. Uh, this is a, a bill that really um, boosted the fortunes of drug companies and biotechs because suddenly people who had no access to drugs or very little access to drugs even and the best biotechs uh, suddenly are being brought into the hospital system and be given, being given these drugs that they never had access to before. So the drug companies really benefit a great deal from Obamacare, as does uh, the um, managed care companies, the HMOs. Companies they got more customers now, right? They got more customers than ever, you know, and, they, and they're paying customers. Uh, courtesy of Uncle Sam, <laughs> which means courtesy of all of us. Um, but the, the Cigna's, WellPoint's, Omnicare, companies like that, um, the, I think the ACA will turn out to be the, you know, the, the, um, the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> well, and, and I understand that there are some other individual stories you think have some pretty compelling growth stories right now. Uh, we were talking earlier about this, this kind of play on the recent auto boom that we got because cars are they're more technologically savvy than they've ever been before, right? And, and that can benefit certain stocks in the space. So, so um, five years ago when, when the housing boom really went bust, um, people st were losing their houses, they were uh, losing their, and the stock market was going down. And the last thing in the, in the world that they were going to do was replace their car. And even as the stock market has come back and prices in the houses are starting to come back, people have been very slow to replace their cars. Well, yeah, it's like, it's like 11 years or something is the average so, age of so a vehicle the, on the, the roads? The average, the average age of the car on the road is, is, is old. Now, what Ford and GM and Chrysler have done is they've done a pretty good job of explaining to people, that, hey, a lot has changed since the time, last time you, um, you bought a car. And when they get people in the showrooms, people are agog at the amount of technology that's available in a car at a very low level. I mean, you can get a really low level um, 
uh, Ford, like a Ford Fusion or a Chevrolet Impala, um, with more technology than you'd ever imagine, and it's relatively inexpensive. Now, the, the, the players I like in this field are not necessarily the, the automakers, although Ford is, is pretty cheap and a yeah, pretty good buy. Um, but I like the companies that make the electronics. Uh, one of them uh, just announced a fantastic earnings report uh, earlier this week. It's called Method Electronics, MEI. And this was like a $60 stock back in 2000. It fell down as low as about five during the bear market. And um, it just popped to 33, but I still think it has another, you know, 50% in it going forward over the next couple of years. Yeah, those are some good calls, John. Well, thanks for being with me today. And uh, we'll keep an eye on the stock market and see where things go in the next couple months. And hopefully we can have you back. Thanks. I'd love to be back.